In this video, we are going to learn how to install WordPress on localhost. And this is the easiest way through which you can launch your WordPress website on localhost. So to do this, we are going to use a software called Studio. You can see that we already have installed it in our computer. So let's go ahead and see how you can download it. So open up your browser. We have opened up our browser and search for download Studio by WordPress. Then you can search for this and just click on the link. It's from developer.wordpress.com and you can see that the software is free and you can download it for Mac or Windows. If you're running on Windows, just click on Windows. If you're running on Mac, just download for Mac. So once it's downloaded and installed, you can open up this software. So we're going to double click on it and here is the application. Now this is the studio software and on the side you can see there are some localhost websites that we have created and it's all accessible from here. Now if you want to launch any website you can just simply click on start and it will be started then you can visit your site or go to WP admin and start editing your site. Now before we go ahead and create a new site let's actually explore some of the options. We can see the information of our website over here. We can see the theme that we're using. We can also take a look at the customizer and here you can open up the file explorer so it will take you to the place where your site is installed. You can open up VS code or the terminal from here as well. So there are other tabs the sync, preview, import, export settings. We will take a look at this later on after we create a site. So let's go ahead and create a new site. We're going to click on add site and here we get to name our website so let's name our website onyx okay and if you want you can also import a backup so if you have a jetpack backup or a full site backup in another format you can drop it over here you can also expand the advanced settings and select your path where you want to install your website you can choose the php version you can also choose the wordpress version from here and again you can also use the custom domain if you tick this, you can pick a custom domain for your site as well. Now, we don't want to import any backup. We're simply going to click on add site and it will immediately create our website. You can see that our website is being created and you don't actually have to do anything else. And you can see that our site is created and it's already running. You can see there's a green light over here. We can stop our site by clicking over here or over here. But whenever you launch a website, you can just simply click on start and it will start up and this green sign will mean that it's it's running. Now from here you can open up the site editor, you can choose the styles, patterns, navigation, templates and pages. You can access the customizer directly from here. You can see that we're using the 2025 theme. Now if we want to open up our site what we can do is click on open site and it will open up our site over here. But you can see that this doesn't give us access to the WordPress admin dashboard. To open up the dashboard we can click on WP admin and it's going to directly log us into our site. So we don't even have to use our username and password. You can see we have accessed the back end of our website. Now, what about the password and username? Simply head over to settings over here and you can view the details of your site, the name of your site, the local host URL, the HTTPS, local path, WordPress version, and the PHP version. If we scroll down, you can view the username, password, and admin URL from here. Now let's take a look at this sync option. Now, if you have an existing website on wordpress.com, you can sync it and you can share the work with everyone. Now you can push and pull the changes to your live site as much as you want. It supports staging and production and you can sync database and file changes as well. So if you have a live site on wordpress.com, you can download it, you can sync it and bring it on localhost and you can push and pull the changes as many times as you want. Next in the preview section, now this gives you the ability to share a preview of your studio site. This is one of the most important features of this software. It actually gives you a domain which you can share with anyone and get feedback. You can create up to 10 preview sites and that's for free. You can create your site, you can get your feedback from your clients or other users, developers, you can get the feedback and build your site. So this is a really important feature. For this you will have to log into your wordpress.com account and if you don't have an account you have to create one. Then you can create your site and you will be given a free domain for this. So this is a very neat feature from Studio. Again, you can also import and export backups. If you have a Jetpack backup or a full site backup in another format or a .sql database file, you can drag it and drop it over here. You can export or import sites using Studio. So these are the various important features of Studio. Now, I actually want to show you how the preview feature works. 
So let's log into our WordPress.com account. Now we're going to authorize it and we're going to open it up and you can see that it's connected. Now we're going to click on the create preview site and it's connecting us to a domain. So we'll have to wait for it. And the preview has been created. Now, if we click on this URL, you can see you have a URL which you can share. Now we can share our website with other people, with our clients, and we can get the feedback on our site. You can already understand how handy this feature is. Now there's also another interesting feature, which is the AI assistant. So if you need help with anything, you can take the help of AI assistant. Suppose you want to ask how you want to update all your plugins, you can ask it and the AI AI will answer for you. You can already see that it generated an answer and anyway you can take the help of this AI and build your website. All right so that brings us to the end of this video. We hope that it was helpful for you guys. If you want to learn how to build a website using WordPress or how to create an e-commerce site, how to create a blog, how to create an LMS site, we have all sorts of tutorial on our channel so make sure to check out our channel and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.